Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Realty. Today I am out in Union Park, which is in Little Elm, to check on the Dell Webb home that's behind me. So Union Park is a really great family community and Dell Webb has a little portion in the very back, which is for active adults only. It's really cute community, really great floor plans, and I wanna show you guys this adorable one that my clients chose. So they actually got to choose the lot and the house. So we got to go to Design Center. They picked out all of the finishings. So this is gonna be a super fun build to watch come together. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, y'all, so here's the exterior. This plan's called the Martin Ray. The Martin Ray has about 1,980 square feet on the plan by itself, which is a two bedroom, two bath with an office. But there's lots of variations you can do in this plan, which will increase the square footage. And those things I'm gonna be pointing out because my clients chose to do them. One cute little feature of this home is the front porch, perfect for rocking chairs. And it's a really nice wide entry. So you can put a bench here and your Amazon packages can sit safely under covering. <laughs> All right, so as we come in, we have an office, really big office, really, really nice. And it does have an entranceway into the kitchen area. So that's also really nice. We're gonna continue on. So just in case you're wondering, all the green that's like halfway up on the framework here, that is um, termite protection. So that's been treated. Very nice. Love this plan because it's super open and spacious. So kitchen, really huge kitchen. So this is all will be counters all the way around. And then a huge island, really, really nice big island. So your stove um, and your vent hood and everything is gonna be straight ahead. So that circle up there on the left next to the window, that's where the venting is. So everything here is vented outside. Used to be back in the day, they would vent it up into the attic and then it would go outside, but it's directly outside now. So this has a really big dining area. So it's not a formal dining room, but it's huge. You could, you could fit a very large dining table in there. And then of course it's open into the living area and you can choose to have a fireplace or not have one. Another option that is not automatically included is a pop-up ceiling, which you can tell here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to tell on the frame stage, but this border all the way around, it's going to pop up in there. So it's really nice. And then this back area here is a sunroom, which originally on the plans is a patio. So another, another way you can add square footage and usable space is this. And this is super popular in the Dell Web communities because you know it's hot here in Texas. <laughs> so you can still have bunches of windows around to enjoy the outside, but you're inside in the comfort of air conditioning. Okay, so up here in the front, this is where you would come in from the two car garage. The plan originally has three cars. It's a three car tandem, but you can turn that tandem into a bedroom. Uh, and that's what this space is right here. So an extra bedroom. And yes, it's on the smaller side, but it would be perfect for a little guest room or office or a craft room, whatever you choose. And that's your closet right there. That's what I'm showing. And then these, the other bedroom that is on the plan originally is a secondary bedroom. This one's much larger and it has a walk-in closet. So if you ever get confused looking at all the, the framework, just look at the floor and look at the outline and that gives you a general idea of what the space is gonna look like. So this closet doesn't just go straight in, it does kind of come over to the side. A little extra storage for you. So it's a really good sized bedroom. And then the secondary bath here for both of those bedrooms and then guests to share when they're visiting. So you have a, a tub and shower combo and this will have one sink. You can tell that by that plumbing right there. And let's go check out the master. So the master is right off the kitchen here. There's a little um, hallway. So there's your HVAC unit. And all of the venting is up ahead. That's all the silver stuff. Um, the actual condenser units, that's one of the last things that they install, but you know the, the basic guts of the unit is, is installed now. 
So you also have your laundry room right over here. Really nice, large, dedicated laundry room. And then your low voltage panel, that's this white exterior box right here. Um, that is where all of your, say you have any surround sound systems or cameras, security features, all the wiring is gonna go in there. Also your internet. All right, so master bedroom. It's really nice and big and beautiful. And again, you can choose to do the pop-up ceiling in here. I always recommend that. It really does give you the illusion that you have a larger room when the ceiling is higher. So that's well worth the extra money. And it's really not that much more to have it done, so it's worth it. Back into the master bathroom. My clients chose, you can do a super shower or shower and tub, and uh, they chose the super shower. And it's really big, it's super. <laughs> really big shower. There will be a bench um, on the far end. And uh, there's the, the handle and everything will go there. So, well, the handle's there, but the shower head's on the other end where the bench is. So, really, really nice. And then you'll have his and her sinks, one vanity, but his and her sinks straight ahead. And then we have a little linen closet here. So again, look at the floor and you can see the outline. And then over here is the water closet. And the large master closet is off to this side. So really nice. Such a cute plan. And what a great community too, because Del Webb communities, they have so many activities and just things for all of the residents to do and enjoy together and brings them together. It's a really cool concept and they're wildly popular. <laughs> all right, so last but not least, We've got the backyard and these are meant to be smaller because I mean, when you're, when you get to this stage of life, you just don't want that much yard work. I mean, most people don't anyway. So, but there's plenty of room back here for like gardening if you want to, or if you wanted to add a little um, pergola and seating area and things like that, which a lot of the residents do choose to do. But all in all, that is it for now. Okay guys, that wraps up the tour this week. We have a frame walk coming up and then before you know it, we're gonna have insulation and sheetrock and trim and all the other stuff that's gonna really bring this house together. So stay tuned for the coming weeks and all of the progress that is still to come. If you're looking to build in the Collin County area, y'all give me a call, text, email, or you can schedule a Zoom appointment via the link below. I would love to help you. Until next time, y'all take care and God bless. Bye.